Hey, I'm Mike with Fleetwood RV. Today we got Joe Snyder joining us from Freightliner Custom Chassis. And he's gonna go over some of the routine maintenance. A lot of times we have customers that are kinda hesitant to jump into the diesel line because they think it's gonna be a ton of maintenance. And Joe's gonna help clarify that for us. Just like you said, a lot of customers say, you know, they really know that they need to do their oil and their fuel filters, but what else do they need to do? So, but first, so I like to break it down into kind of an easy way to remember it. And uh, we're gonna start with one year, two years, and then three years. So every year, obviously you're gonna do your, uh, you're gonna change your fuel filters. So this is a fuel water separator here, and this is your uh, fuel filter. And then on the other side of the engine, if you walk around here with me, we're gonna see the oil filter. And it's, it's up here high on the engine. So, you know, the mechanic, or, or if it's you, you're gonna have to reach way up in there to, um, to, to change that out. Now that's every year. So along with your chassis lube and, and some other things, uh, if you can remember, you're gonna change your oil, you're gonna change your oil filters and your fuel filters, lube the chassis. So that's, that's one. Two, two, it's unbelievable, but two is one of the most neglected items, maintenance items on a chassis. And it's actually the filter for the engine. So the clean air that needs to come in, mm -hmm. so this box here will be mounted up higher and, and, and the air coming into the coach comes in up high. So it's coming in clean, not dirty air off the road. And it comes in through this filter. Now this whole canister right here is the filter. So when they're replacing it, it's not like they're pulling an element out and putting a new element in. Mm -hmm. You replace the whole canister. That canister has a life, has a two year life. So we want you to change your air cleaner every two years. Why? Well, the interior of it's actually made out of paper and glue and a special paper to, to make sure you can filter out all the dirt that's coming in the, the air. And uh, it's cleaning, it's, it's cleaning it so that you have clean air for your engine. So the turbo is actually, the backside of the turbo is actually pulling in that air and it pushes that air um, through the, the ram air cooler, which is behind your radiator, and it cools the air before it takes it in to your engine. Make sure it's a nice temperature. Uh, so all that being said, can you imagine there's a lot of coaches out there that aren't cleaning, they're not taking care of this. And the reason for that is they think that this vacuum indicator over here is the only time they need to change it. So if you look really close, I'm gonna press on the bottom here, it's gonna release it, or it's already been released. There it goes, it goes down just a little bit. We just had this coach started. So when this, when this vacuum indicator gets up to change or up to the top of green, you may wanna change it, or after each trip, you can just press under here and release that spring, and you can see, oh, Okay, maybe I just created a vacuum when I was passing a semi or something like that. Um, make sure that you, you want to use this for two years, right? You don't have to replace this particular piece. Um, but after two years, don't count on this anymore. Change your filter, get it replaced. So we got one and now we've got two, right? The, the second year, you're going to be replacing your air cleaner. Now, I'm going to come on around here to tell you number three. Three is the number one most neglected maintenance item on your coach. And it supplies a lot of safety for your coach. Meaning you have air ride and you have air brakes. Well, where does that air come from? Well, on the side of the engine, we have an air compressor and that air compressor is feeding air to an air cleaner. Now that air cleaner has a filter on it. Um, so, excuse me, let me just correct myself here a little bit. I called it an air cleaner. It's an air dryer. So the air dryer has what we call uh, a filter on top of it. That air dryer is taking the water out of the air and it's also taking the dirt out of it so that you have clean air for your brakes and your air ride. Super important, right? But it needs to be replaced, you guessed it, every three years. And because it doesn't have to be replaced very often, it's not in a, a location that you can see very well. But in between the frame rails, just behind the rear axle, rear suspension, you're gonna find the air 
dryer. Now this whole thing is the air dryer, but the top side is the filter. This is what you're gonna replace. Now what our mechanics do in many cases in order to be able to replace it, is they'll drop it off of the bracket, work on it on the ground, and then put it back on the bracket when they're finished. So now you know maintenance items that are most neglected on your chassis or coach. So make sure that you don't go past two years on your air cleaner and don't go past three years on your air dryer filter and you will have a coach that's taking care of you for a long time. One other question, Joe, I get is the ping tanks. They got lanyards that come off yeah. the ping tanks yep. and off our brake sink. How often do we drain those? So we just talked about the air dryer. It's a great, great question. Uh, the air dryer cleans and dries the air. But what if your coach sits for a while? Now you have air that's sitting in the air tanks, condensing over time, and you could get water in them. Now, these tanks actually have a valve underneath them that's called an automatic moisture ejection valve. So, in a sense, you really don't need to do anything. Uh, but, just to make sure that that system is working, I wanna ask you to, twice a year, come find your drain lanyards. They'll be, generally there's two on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. Uh, sometimes we do uh, on an independent front suspension, we might have two on the driver's side, one on the passenger. But what you're looking for are these lanyards. Again, they could be painted black with undercoating. So, but what you're gonna do is we're gonna ask you to pull on the, and when you hear air, you're done. But if you pull on it and you hear it spitting water, wait until it's finished spitting water and you just hear air, then you're done. Um, if it's, you know, you had it in storage and it's pouring out water or maybe, um, it, you know, it just keeps pouring out water. Okay, you might have to start your coach back up and drain the air again until all the water comes out. Uh, at that point, if you have a situation like that, we want you to bring it into your nearest Freightliner dealer for over 450 locations around, you know, the U.S. and Canada to bring it into the largest network in the country. And uh, we're going to make sure that the, uh, whatever the issue is, we're going to find it, take care of it, and make sure you don't have that again. So. Yeah. So just to recap, you have four lanyards on all of your Fleetwood diesels. You're gonna have two on either the driver or passenger side, one on the other, and then on the back, right beside your, re your hitch, you're going to have one for your brake sink. And we will cover that feature in a later video, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Fleetwood RV, and we'll go over some more features. And you can always check out Freightliner Custom Chassis' YouTube channel at, at Freightliner Chassis. Right, thank you, Joe, hey. and let's look at some more features on this unit. Sounds great.